These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Learner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hello, I'm Megan Thompson with your afternoon update from ABC 15 Arizona. Phoenix police, they're investigating a shooting that left two men dead. This happened just before 3.30 this morning near 75th Avenue in Highland. Officers say both men died at the scene. The area around the shooting was shut down while officers investigated what happened there. And a woman has died after a crash Saturday night that near 51st Avenue and Baseline. Phoenix police say it appears 35-year-old Marchi Mercado was crossing the street mid-block when she was hit by a car. She was taken to a hospital where she died. Police say the car involved did stay at the scene. The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office confirms today one of the people involved was an off duty employee of theirs, but didn't say in what capacity or whether the employee was the driver. The man is in critical condition after a shooting near 27th Avenue and Glen Rosa. This happened around 2.30 this morning. Police say the man was shot at least once, he was taken to a hospital. Police have not released any information yet about a possible suspect here. And ABC 15 is remembering Preston Lord. On October 28, 2023, the 16-year-old was attacked at a Halloween party in Queen Creek. He later died from those injuries. Preston's case started a movement shining light on teen violence in the valley and demands for law enforcement to take action. ABC 15's Jimmy Warren reports on where the case stands as the community continues to celebrate his life. All seven suspects have since been charged with first-degree murder. Today we're out here at Frontier Park and there's this gorgeous view of the water. So later tonight, water lanterns are going to light up the night sky as the community gathers to remember Preston and celebrate his life. We have covered this story extensively since the very beginning. Some history for you. Police say the 16 year old was attacked at a Halloween party on October 28th of last year. Police say Preston and his friends were trying to leave when Preston was punched. He fell. Multiple others then punched and kicked him. Two days later, he died. In December, Queen Creek Police Police announced that they had submitted some charges against seven suspects, some of them teens. And since then, all seven have pleaded not guilty. Several of them have bonded out. Now, since his death, the rest have been made in several other violent cases involving teens, both victims and suspects, some related to the so-called Gilbert Goons, which Gilbert police have said is officially designated a criminal street gang. And then ordinances like in Chandler were created to crack down on violence. Law enforcement agencies creating a report don't repost campaign. And here's what Preston's parents said when speaking exclusively with ABC 15 about the movement that has started following his death. In my mind, I was just like, this isn't how his story is going to end. It can't end like this. And so we thought, well, what do kids like? Kids wear bracelets. So we decided to create a movement called Justice for Preston Lord. As for tonight's event, it starts at 6 o'clock. You're asked to wear orange because that was Preston's favorite color. Lanterns are going to be available. They're suggesting a $10 donation. They'll be meeting on the southeast portion of the park near the Ramadas. As for Preston's family and friends and all of those here in the East Valley community, they continue to rally for support and advocate for those impacted by violence. For now, reporting in Queen Creek, Jamie Warren, ABC 15, Arizona. Jamie, thank you. And ABC 15 is following up now on the US 93 widening project. Our Operations Aid Roads team has extensively covered an increase of crashes and deaths on Highway 93 for years. Now our state is taking action to improve safety. ADON awarded a $26 million grant to widen US 93 to a four lane divided highway northwest of Wickenburg. The grant will help ADOT expand the current widening project by nearly one and a half miles. US 93 is the main road connecting Phoenix to Las Vegas with many segments narrowed to only two lanes. Get ready for a gusty and dusty day across State 48. I'm meteorologist Jorge Torres, and we have numerous wind alerts, mainly across northern Arizona, beginning as early as 11 o'clock this morning and lasting through tomorrow morning from areas like Mojave County up toward the high country and along the rim with gusts of 45 to even 50 miles per hour anticipated later on today. Now, in the valley, the winds will not be as strong, but we're forecasting some breezes too. Winds sustained uh, from the southwest at 10 to 15, gusting around 25 at times. Other than that, a mostly sunny day with a high of 90 then that chance of rain really picking up later this evening here in the valley into the early morning hours on Tuesday. That's the cold front that will also draw with it. 
cooler temperatures leading up to Halloween just a few days away. So here's your 7 day forecast. We go from the 90s today to the 70s for highs Tuesday and Wednesday and lows in the 50s, but we're back into the 80s for October 31st. Flagstaff, good chance of rain today to early tomorrow with highs staying in the 40s and 50s from Tuesday all the way through the weekend. We'll have another update for you tonight. Until then, get the latest news, weather, and traffic at abc15.com, or you can download that free ABC 15 mobile app. These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Learner and Row Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.